Hey guys, um, so this is the AC Hum touch sensor I built. It was uh, expired by PCB Heaven. He has a video on this. Anyways, as you can see, um, that's the light right there. Difficult to see on video, but it is possible that when you touch it, the LED lights up. Maybe a shadow would help. There we go. Now I'm just touching the end of this resistor, or the end of this wire, which is connected to the end of the resistor, as you can see when I touch the wire. The LED goes on, so touch the wire. Okay. So, I have the oscilloscope at um, uh, one of the, well, actually, I'll do that later. So you can see circuit's very simple. Doesn't consist of much. I'm powering it by, you know, five and a half, six or so volts, right? And here is the schematic. Very simple. So this is where you touch, right? You goes through a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor to a Darlington configuration, which has the um, collectors pulled high through a 1k. The emitters are grounded. So this, um, and then I'll, I'll just you know explain schematic and then I'll later explain how it works. So you have a 100 microfarad capacitor, it acts like a smoothing capacitor. 10k resistor, uh, t sorry, a 10 ohm resistor to pass through it creates a little RC circuit. Um, and a 10k pull-up resistor through a PNP, and that goes high, and then the output goes through a 330 ohm resistor into an LED, and that's this LED here. Okay? So the way this circuit works is that it only works if you're near 60 hertz mains. So if you're not near 60 hertz mains, this won't work. If you're in the middle of a field, this circuit won't work. It'll do weird things. So the way it works is by your, your body acts like an antenna and picks up the 60 hertz mains that's all in the walls, everywhere, you know, etc. And then it goes through this resistor for protection and your body, when you touch it, you know your body is making contact and then your antenna, your body, which is an antenna for the 60 hertz mains, is connected to the circuit. It gets amplified by this Darlington configuration with this um, 1K pull-up to create a voltage. So now you have a pretty strong about 60 hertz or so signal, right? And right here you have a 100 microfarad capacitor. It's this capacitor there. This is the Darlington configuration, those two transistors right there. And um, what this capacitor does is it sort of smooths out the wave a bit. It, um, it makes, it turns a, a AC signal into more or less a DC signal. Um, more or less. Um, doesn't do that, you know, so well, but it does help so that your LED isn't blinking on and off at 60 hertz. It's it's doing it's you know so you can see when I turn it on it's on consistently, no blinking, right? So then it passes through the 10k. This is to sort of isolate the circuit so that this circuit doesn't mess up with this circuit. And then um, you have a pull up here to make the signal um, high, give it a DC offset. This pin P is connected to positive, and this because this is set up as a inverting. So it's going to invert your signal. So this, the PNP, makes it so that when you touch it, this setup is a switch, a switching transistor. This is set up as an amplification. So this switch then switches on the LED with the incoming filter signal. And right here, between the 10K, so after the 10 ohm, right at the base of the 10K, that's where I'm measuring with my oscilloscope. So if we go over to the oscilloscope, it doesn't show up very well on this uh, camera. You can see sort of there's your line right there, right? Um, yeah, nothing's going to be able to help that. Anyway, you can see that when I touch it, there becomes a signal. I know that's difficult to see, but there's a 60 hertz signal there. We set on 20 milliseconds per division. If I let go, it's just a flat line. I touch it, there's a 60 hertz signal. And this is on um, 0.1 volts per division, so the signal itself is about eh, 300 or so millivolts large at that point before the uh, switching transistor. I'm going to now um, connect it to the uh, um, output of the switching transistor, the PNP. Switch it to one volt per division. Oh, it's set to AC, sorry. DC. And put it on and it's going to switch. It's way off. Okay. So you can see that when I touch it, it goes high. 
right? And now I'm going to probe before the 10 ohm resistor in the schematic, so... You can see it jumps down a bit because the capacitor is charging. Um, but after, right here, this is where your signal is visible. Switch it to AC. And we're probing right, right there. You can see that when I touch the wire, you have the 60 hertz signal, and then the LED is on. So that is a simple switch uh, button, really, contact button. <coughs> As you can see, you don't have to be connected to anything, you just have to be around 60 hertz. So now it's a passive touch sense, it's pretty neat when you just want to, you know, just touch a wire or something. And this can engage microcontrollers, this will register as a high on microcontrollers. So, you know, works. Here is the schematic.